Hello and welcome, my name is Lexi and today we're going to do a quick get ready with me using some new makeup. So all of these formulations I'm using here today, I've used for at least 10 days already and some of the shades today are brand new shades. So the shades might be a first impression, but the actual formulas, I've used everything either long term or at least 10 days. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do a quick get ready with me with all of those, I'm gonna show you the products, and then at the end, I'm also gonna kind of give them a grade with, based on my thoughts on those, on those particular products. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're gonna start off with the Jones Road and Hervé Claude Hair Balm, and I've heard really good things about this. I've been wanting to try it, so actually, they sent this to me. I've been using it on and off for about a week and a half, so I actually had these little clips of me doing it before I got my hair cut, but I must have deleted those by mistake. So uh, let's just go ahead. You actually only need a tiny bit. Actually, this is about how much I used even with the long hair. So, you know, I just put on my hands, just run my hair through it. So, and I like to scrunch up a little bit. But what I like about this is that it separates my hair. It doesn't feel like I don't feel any texture or greasiness from it. You get like a little bit more definition with the curls and it helps reduce the frizz. So I'm loving this. Um, yeah, this has become my go-to like hair product right now. The other like hair oil type product that I really like is the Sisley one. And so between the two of those, like I'm totally set. And one thing to note, this does have a fragrance. Um, you know, there's a whole bunch of different things in here. There's orange peel, nutmeg, um, what else is in here, caraway and so forth. So honestly, the scent of this smells very much like those ingredients but there is the very last ingredient on here is fragrance and there is an 18 month shelf life on this and it's 3.4 ounces or 100 milliliters so it's gonna last me forever because i use so little of it at a time but yeah i'm just really really liking this because it really doesn't weigh my hair down my hair is fine by the way so things weigh it down very very easily and yeah wanted to share all right, so I'm just gonna clip my hair back and let's go ahead and get started today. I'm just going to take a second and put on some base products. We're gonna go very, very light today. So let's see here. I think I'm gonna use the Clay de Poe, the foundation, and I'm gonna put that on, on top of the Euphoria primer. So I've been reaching for this one quite a lot. This is a nice moisturizing primer. And it reminds me a lot of the Dior one, which, uh, yeah, I already used up a tube of that. I have a second one, the Dior Forever Skin Veil Primer. So I think texturally, these both feel very similar. The Dior does have a little bit of SPF in it. This Euphoria one does not. And it just really boosts the moisture in your skin, but I haven't had any issues with it causing any separation or anything like that with different foundations or other products. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a second and put on the foundation and we're going to use the Tom Ford concealer stick as well. You know what, before we actually put on the foundation, let's just go ahead and use this concealer stick and see how it performs on the face. And maybe we'll even skip the foundation. So I'm going to bring you in closer. All right, so this is a Tom Ford concealer stick. I picked up shade 0 and 0 Blanc because this is what I use in the shade and illuminate concealer, which I really like. It's a great light shade for under the eyes, so it adds a little bit of brightening, but it is a little bit light for the rest of my face. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to bring you in even closer and just use my finger to tap this out. All right, so that's the concealer under the eyes. And I would say it's a really nice concealer. I actually already have fully formed thoughts on this. I've been using this for a little while, but I am gonna have another video with the concealer compared to the Clay de Peau Stick Concealer uh, because I do think they are different. They also have very vastly different price points. So I think it's important to see kind of, you know, which one's gonna be the better value for your money. So I'll have a separate video with that coming up very soon. 
But first of all, I want to talk a little bit about this concealer. This concealer, let's go ahead and put some on my face here. It has a very thin, um, kind of like a silicone vibe to it. Like that's the texture you feel. And coverage, I would say you can get like medium coverage with this. So you can't really build it up to full coverage in my opinion. Um, I never can get it to the point where I don't see any circles and I don't have super dark circles. So this is like light to medium and you can tell just looking at my face here. So here's the side with the concealer versus without. So you can see it's definitely going to give some coverage. It actually is, you know, it's very, it, it, it's giving a little radiance. There's a little bit of a, a satin, not quite satin matte, but you know, not a full satin, a very soft, subtle satin finish to the skin. Actually, I think it blended out really well. I don't really need to use a foundation on top of this today. And let me back you out a little bit. We'll do the other side with a brush. All right, so I'm gonna take this concealer, just kind of put it on all over, and I'm taking the Sonia G Jumbo Base Brush here, and let's just see how this goes on. So the brush does a fine job, but honestly, I think the finger side just looks a little bit better. So I'm just gonna go ahead, take my fingers and kinda smudge that out a little bit more. I just feel like with the, the brush, you're moving it, the product around a little bit more because it's not a dry product. It really has a lot of slip, uh, you know, from that like silicone texture. So I think the brush really moves it very, very easily. And let's just add a little bit around the nose here. And we'll go ahead and just spread some out all over. So again, we're going for a very minimal makeup look today anyway. So I think this is actually sufficient for foundation today. So for cheeks, we're moving on to another Jones Art product. They sent this to me as well, actually. This is the um, Miami Beach Miracle Balm. And I have to say, Miracle Balms, I love the concept, but honestly, the ones that I like are the ones you can use as blush. So this is a shade that I think I'm gonna like. This is Miami Beach. And then I really like the flush shade. The lighter ones, I had kind of like, you know, I just, only use them for specific instances. So it's not like an everyday product for me, but I think this will make a nice blush. It's a very large container though, like the other Miracle Bombs. You have an 18 month shelf life, 50 grams of product here, and it's made in the US. So I've got some on my finger here, and let's go ahead and just kind of tap this in. And the Miracle Bombs have a bit of a um, like kind of an herbal scent to them as well. So you can see that's gonna be very light, very soft. Now I'm gonna use the same brush I was using for the concealer over here on this side. Let's go ahead and tap this out. And I have to say, when I'm using the Miracle Bombs, I do actually prefer to use a brush to tap them out. I feel like I just get a little bit more uh, pigmentation and it just um, blends out a little bit more smoothly for me. Now with these, you do wanna tap because they do have like a bit of an oil content. So if you brush it away, you're going to move, remove any of your like base product underneath. At least that has been my experience. So this is Miami Beach. I think it gives you a very light, soft, kind of a peachy coral flush. And yeah, I, I like that. Let me go ahead and try and build this up just a little bit more, just so you guys can really see the color a bit more. Now keep in mind these are gonna be a sheer product, so they will not build up to a very deep pigmentation level. For deeper skin tones, this will really be more of a highlighter in this shade, I think. I just, you're not really gonna get it super deep. Yeah, honestly, I don't really think I'm gonna be able to get it 
much deeper than that so let's call that a day i think it's a really nice shade though i do like this one i can see myself using this and the flesh shade during the summer for kind of like a light everyday kind of look for eyes today i want to go ahead and use one of the new armani eye tints and i've really been enjoying these really been enjoying the uh the pat mcgrath liquids as well this is 10 senso and i'm just gonna go ahead and use my finger to kind of put this on and it just gives a really nice you know easy kind of look to it with that I'll bring you in closer for the other eye so I don't know what you guys have been up to recently but I feel like life has been super busy you know we have an annual Super Bowl party that you know we haven't done in the last few years because of COVID and everything but we did it again this year and you know that was a lot of work a lot of time and effort so I feel like I'm a little bit behind on filming even though I've been putting out videos quite a bit I'm just grabbing this brush this is the Sonia G Jumbo Concealer I just had this right here so I'm just gonna kind of blend out over here but you know aside from that you know the kids have been like into a ton of activities Valentine's Day was this week and although I don't particularly really celebrate Valentine's myself like my husband I don't really do anything for that the kids come home with stuff like it's more than like what they come home for like Christmas and holiday parties it's crazy for eyeliner I'm gonna take the Esam eye pencil this is the duo in fire and garnet so I'm taking the garnet side here I'm just gonna run this along the lash line and yeah I was just saying like Valentine's Day like it's insane how much they come home with and the elaborate parties I remember when I was a kid we you know, I think we made a mailbox maybe like one year and then everybody gave just those little like paper valentines and like now everybody gives like essentially like presents, you know, everybody brings in like food and snacks and you get like pencils, candy, bracelets, stuffed animals. It's like insane. All right, I'm just going to take my finger and kind of smudge the eyeliner a little bit and... There's that. Again, very light, soft kind of look today. And then for mascara, let's go with the Suku 106, that really light one today. All right, here's the Suku 106 mascara. And you know, I really like this for daytime, especially if you're doing something where you don't want the lashes to take center stage. And since this is kind of like a, a light kind of look, I'm kind of interested in the light lashes. I need to try this out, light lashes with something a little bit more vibrant. I'm just kind of curious how that will look. And then let's just add a little bit to the lower lashes. All right, for brows, I'm just gonna grab my Gucci brow pencil. This is shade 01. I'm just gonna very lightly put in a little bit of the brow pencil and yeah. So my daughter is doing the science, not the science fair. We just did the science fair. Now we're onto the talent show. It's like crazy. And everybody's coming home with school product projects. So I just feel like, you know, there's always something going on. There's like an event at the school, like all the time. And it's just been kind of hectic. So many birthday parties on the weekends. So I hope everybody else is having a bit of a calmer, you know, end of winter. So things have been hectic, but very good. You know, I think it's fun to stay busy. It's good. And I have to say, it's really nice that the weather is warming up already. So, you know, I know some people already have daffodils blooming and so forth. I don't yet. We don't get enough sun in that area at this time, but I cannot wait. So for the lips, we're going with another peachy lipstick. This is the new limited edition Vito Rouge Shine from Sisley in shade 13. And this is Sheer Beverly Hills. And this is actually a collaboration. I forget who it's with off the top of my head, but I'll put that on the screen. But this is exclusive. So it's only at certain retailers online only, I believe. And it's made in Italy. We have three grams of product. And I've actually already worn this. So it does come with this black sleeve. We've got our traditional packaging. These are the Sicily product that's very much like the Chantecaille Lip Shakes. So here's this, and I'm gonna bring you in. It 
So here's that, and I'm baking bread right now, so I think the timer just went off, I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back, and I think the lips need a little definition, so I'm gonna take the Hindash Lip Pencil. This is the Lip Tone in Hush. I'm just gonna go around the edges here real quickly. All right, so that just added a tiny bit of definition. And yeah, so this is actually gonna be the final look. Very light, easy, peachy, kind of spring, summery. And uh, you know, let's talk about the products and do some comparisons. First, let's talk about the Tom Ford concealers. So this is a stick concealer. I forget off the top of my head exactly how much this cost. Um, you know, I ordered mine from Selfridges, but it's somewhere between like $45, $50. And so the Selfridges price is not always the same as what you get in the US, but it's somewhere around that price point. This is zero and zero Blanc. Now for shade comparison, this is a shade and illuminate concealer. And I have to say, I really love this one. This is shade zero and zero Blanc as well. And you can see this is just slightly more yellow. It's also more opaque. This is gonna be a more full coverage concealer than the stick. And then the other one I want to look at, this is a stick. This is the Real Skin Plus Stick from Shantikai in shade 0W. And you can see that's gonna be a bit more yellow as well. It's more of a peachy yellow, but it's gonna be deeper. And one more comparison. This is the Jones Road Face Pencil in shade 01. And you can see that that, again, is gonna be more similar to the Shantikai Real Skin in 0W. And this is shade number two, which goes a little bit peachier. So even the lightest shades in there are not gonna be quite as light as the zero and zero. Now about the Tom Ford formula, uh, I can tell you it's a really nice concealer. I like the concealer. You're gonna get light to medium coverage. It has kind of that silicone texture so it glides on easily. It doesn't really accumulate in lines. Um, you know, you can, if you continue layering the product, because it's a little bit of a slippery concealer, it can accumulate in that case. But if you're using one to two sheer layers, you're not really gonna have that ish issue with them. However, is this like the best concealer on the market? In my personal opinion, it is not. However, I think it's really nice. And I think for this price point from Tom Ford, it's a good concealer. Like I'm really impressed with how the concealer performs for that price point. That being said, the shade in Illumin Luminate concealer, I prefer that over this one, even though, you know, I love stick concealers, so, but I just feel like this one does a little bit more for you, but it's also twice the price. So that's my opinion on the Tom Ford concealer. I think it's nice. And again, I'll have another video comparing that with the Clay to Post stick concealer, because I feel like that is a little bit of a closer comparison in you know, just the fact that they're both stick concealers and you know the actual purpose and function of how you're going to use it. Now just a swatch comparison real quickly. This is shade number one, Ivory, in um, the Clay to Post stick. And you can see that that is gonna be deep. It's kind of a peachy neutral shade, much deeper than the Tom Ford, which is this one here. So, you know, color wise, you know, Tom Ford definitely has a much better color range than Clay de Peau does in the concealers. Their concealer color range is actually pretty small in my opinion. I do wish they had some lighter shades. Now, moving on to the Miracle Balm. As I mentioned, I have a few of these and I like the ones that are deep enough that you can use as a blush, but the ones that are lighter are meant to be used all over. I just haven't found a method that I really love those for with my skin. However, I'm sure people with, you know, very dry skin, it's going to be something that they really like. So this here is the shade Miami Beach. And it is, you know, I was thinking it was gonna be more peach, but it's actually more of a coral shade. And you can see it blends out very beautifully. And you still get the sheen from this product that I think you don't really need to use a highlighter with this. I feel like this is sufficient because you get that beautiful sheen on your skin with it. And again, it's gonna be a peachy coral, but there's definitely a little red in there. And I think it's a really beautiful shade for the summer. I would do wanna compare that to a couple other Miracle Bombs. This is flushed. This is the one that I like to use as blush, you know, the most. This is kind of like a pearly pink kind of shade. Let me get a little bit more on there here. And you can see again, we get a beautiful sheen. This is gonna be like a cool pink instead of this warmer coral. 
So these are my two favorite of the Miracle Bombs. I have a couple more. I have, I forget where, I, I'm not sure exactly where I placed uh, some of them, but this one here is Dusty Rose. I've used this one quite a bit. This is the one I've really played with the most. It was the first one I bought, um, just to kind of see if I could figure out how to use this all over. Um, for me, this particular shade, when I put this on as blush, I don't really see that much on my particular skin tone. Uh, but it is a really beautiful dusty rose shade. A lot of people like to put this one, you know, kind of all over, get a little skin brightening effect. For me though, I just haven't particularly embraced this particular one in that method. So I like these two here. If you're somebody who likes just a light wash of blush, maybe you don't even wanna put any makeup, I would definitely recommend Flushed and Miami Beach. And it's just gonna give you a nice soft glow and I think it's a really beautiful product in that way. I do wish that they made the mini sizes, you know, as a permanent feature. They do occasionally have sets of the minis or you'll see a mini included in a set, but I haven't seen the minis available for purchase on their own. And these are just really large. <laughs> Next, uh, just a quick swatch of the Armani Eye Tint in 10 Senso. And I really like this. This is the Sheer Shimmer formula. So it really just blends out to this really soft sheer shade. You can definitely build it up and get this pigmentation level. But I really like this new formulation. I think it's more effective than this previous one, which by the way is on sales, discounted on the Armani website. Plus there's an Armani sale as well. So you can kind of double dip if you want the older formulation. But I feel that this one holds up a little bit better. The formula feels slightly smoother, but for the most part, it's really more about the wear time and the blendability of these. So I'm really loving this. The Esam Eye Pencil, you know, I really like their eye and lip pencils. This is the Garnet shade that I used, and it is kind of a deep burgundy garnet with a little bit of gold sparkle. So just thought that was nice. And the other side of this pencil is kind of like a bright yellow antique gold. The Suka Mascara 106, I mean, it's really light. I think it's interesting, but I wouldn't say it's like gonna be a go-to mascara or anything, but I think it's interesting to go with something light where we typically go for those deeper shades on the lashes. But you can see it almost looks more like a blonde brow gel than it does a mascara. So I think it's interesting. There's definitely kind of that yellow okra kind of color in there, and or ochre, <laughs> sorry. But uh, yeah, I think it's, it's different, so I'm enjoying playing with it, but I can't say that it's gonna be a go-to. Now, as for the Sicily lipstick, I really, you know, I was really excited for this. Um, you know, I think a peachy shade would be really nice to have in here. I'm gonna put this one on my hand here. Uh, a little hard with the, I, I'm not great at swatching with my, with my left hand here, but this is the shade 13, Sheer Beverly Hills. It's a really pretty, soft, peachy shade. However, there's a little bit of a milky base to it. So I think I would have preferred this if it were more of a true sheer peach, which is what I was looking for. But this really has more of an opaque base to it. So it gives you more of that milky peach appearance on the lips, which I just don't love. So let me just show you a few comparisons with some of the other Sisley shades. All right, so the Sisley, um, lip shines. This one here is Sheer Nude. This is number 10. And you can see that this is going to be, you know, more of a soft, you know, it's a brownish nude, but there's some pink in there and there's some shimmer. And I really, I love this shade. I think it's really great. But you can see just looking at the swatch that this is truly a more sheer shade. This one here is number 11, Sheer Blossom. And you can see that's gonna be much deeper and it is kind of a peachy pink. It's definitely more pink, but there is a little bit of peach in there. So it's a warm pink, not quite salmon, but almost, not quite as warm as salmon, but almost there. And then we have 20, Sheer Petal. And this is gonna be a more neutral pink. And yeah, really beautiful. This one's a little bit more opaque in the base in comparison to the others, but it's still very sheer. I really feel like this shade 13 has a much more opaque base than the ones in the permanent line in general. Another comparison I wanted to take a quick look at, this is a, uh, the Lisa Eldridge 
uh, lip gloss in Go Lightly. And I don't have the Go Lightly lipstick. It's the only one I was missing from the original launch. But I have heard that the gloss does not quite match up with the lip lipstick. So I feel like maybe the lipstick might be a little more similar to the Sisley, but maybe not quite so milky. So there we go. You can see that the gloss has a little bit more of like an electric vibe to it. And there's a little more pink in there than the Sisley lipstick. And last up, we have one of the Shantakai lip cheeks in Peach Blossom. And I'm going to go ahead and put this this way, uh, put this right along the top. And you can see that's going to be a true peach, deeper in color. And this one, yeah, very different. So here's the Sicily right here. Here's the Shantakai. There's Lisa Eldridge. So I just want to share some new products with you guys today and kind of just chat for a few minutes kind of about what's going on. I did change my upload schedule. So we're now doing Tuesday, Thursdays and Saturdays. And then of course, I'm always trying to add in some extra videos on the other days, but the Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays will be set. And yeah, you know, I just, it's gotten so hectic on the weekends. I just don't have time to film on the weekends. So that's going to be our new schedule here. As for these particular products, I have to say, you know, yeah, well, let's go ahead and grade them. So I would give the Tom Ford concealer, I would give it a B. I think it's a nice concealer and I think it performs well. I think it's great for the price point, but it's just not going to be the best concealer out there. And there are, you know, the silicone type texture of it, I think has pluses and minuses. So it's not, it's a good concealer, but it's not a favorite. So I give it a B because I think it's, it is really nice. As for the Miracle Bomb, you know, again, both the blushed and, or the flushed <laughs> and the Miami Beach are ones I would like. So out of all the Miracle Bombs, I give those an A. For a Miracle Bomb as a product overall, I give it a B because I typically do go for different kinds of uh, cheek products for blushes, something more like the Clay de Poe cream blushes and so forth. So those are still going to be a preference for me in that cream blush category. But for kind of like an everyday, very light makeup look, these are really nice. So I give the overall product a B. These particular colors are A's. The Armani liquid eyeshadows, the eye tints, shade 10 Senso, I definitely give it an A, A plus. It blends out beautifully, it performs well, lasts all day. You know, I just think it's a gorgeous, kind of like a cool cocoa brown kind of color and it shears out to this really soft, cool fawn kind of shade and I really love that. Uh, so both the color and the formula are amazing, A, A plus for those. Moving on to the um, eyeliner from Isom. I give their eyeliners an A. They stay put all day. They smudge out nicely if you do them quickly. And I haven't had any issues with unwanted smudging from them. The Garnet shade in particular is a really a beautiful kind of like reddish shade. Gives you a little something unexpected. So give those an A. The Suku Mascara, I give a B. I think it's a really nice product. It's kind of, it's different from everything else on there. The mascara itself, I think is, uh, you know, average. I think it's a nice mascara, but the mascara on its own isn't really doing anything. It's more about the colors that they have these in. So I give this one a B. And then the Sisley lipstick, Unfortunately, I give it a B minus C plus because it's still a great formula. It's going to be a nice color for a lot of people. But for me, I was expecting something a little bit more sheer than what this is. This has more of an opaque base. So yeah, you know, the more I think about it, it's really a C. So I, I would give this particular one a C. I prefer the ones in the permanent Sisley line over this new limited edition shade. However, if they didn't have such a milky base, I would have loved this color. So that's kind of my issue with that. I just feel like it's a little bit too milky for me. Now, one other thing I wanted to mention about the grade for the Sisley lipstick, you know, I think the actual product itself gets like kind of an A minus grade for me. I love the lipstick formula. I use it all the time. It's very similar though to Chantecaille Lip Chics. And even the fragrance on there, it's got that vanilla fragrance to it, uh, is very similar to the Chantecaille. So because it's almost like a dupe for it, you know, that kind of knocks it down. But on its own, it's a really fantastic product. And if it weren't 
quite so similar. Like if they had just changed the fragrance even, it would have gotten an A and seven A minus, but the product itself is fantastic. And I actually do reach for my Sisley ones over my Chantecaille ones. I feel like they are not quite as slippery as the Chantecaille lip cheeks. So they're not exactly the same, but they are very, very close. Um, but I do prefer the the Sisley, like the shade range and so forth, just a little bit more than the Chantecaille ones. However, they're both great products. Unfortunately though, this particular shade just doesn't compare to, uh, you know, what I feel about the ones in the permanent range, you know, that milky base really destroyed it for me. And I almost forgot about the hair balm. And I have to say, this is an A, A plus product. I absolutely love this. I love how it doesn't weigh down my hair. I have to say the fragrance is, you know, it's an okay, it's an herbal kind of fragrance. So it's fine, it's neutral, it fades after after I put it in, I don't notice it anymore. But, you know, I could put, you know, I could do without that. But uh, yeah, I absolutely love the product itself. So I would highly recommend trying this out. And you get so much product for this price. It's really great. So thank you so much for tuning in today. You know, it's just a quick video to kind of catch up, go over some new products. I have a whole bunch of new products that, you know, I've got a long list of videos that I'm working on. So definitely subscribe if you haven't already, hit that notification bell so you know when those are coming up. So many good things coming up and so many new releases are about to pop, like the Chanel LeBlanc and so forth. So I personally cannot wait. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please share with me what's been going on in your life down below in the comments and what your favorite products were for today. And I will see you very soon. Have a wonderful day.